like the presentation, like your energy. Um, you know, there's a part of me that I'm, I'm sort of having a visual of the old movie Fantastic Journey, where you know you sort of shrink them down and then they're flying through. But, so the thing that, that sort of is a question is, even if you've got sort of propulsion, I'm assuming that this is sort of you know traveling through things that have you know flow of some sort. So is there something where you can at least say, yeah, we demoed this in sort of like small tubes with you know reverse flow to show that we can sort of control this thing in small environments where we, it's not just still, and we can do it with some sort of accuracy. Like, you know, maybe you sort of made, set a little tube, put some stuff inside, show how you photograph that. It, I love that this moonshot, this feels like an Elon Musk, we're gonna sort of make the whole thing, and I like that you acknowledge that it's a moonshot, we haven't built it yet. But uh, there, there seems to be something along the line besides showing the humongous, like, fist-sized first version that says, we've done something to kind of make this a little bit closer to reality, and here's why we think you can pull it off. Because it's, it's exciting as an investor, it's exciting if you're the guys that can do it. But from what I've seen so far, there's not quite enough yet to convince me that you're the guys that can do it. And you know, Peter had made a comment on one of the earlier decks uh, that, you know, sort of small team, big advisor board is okay, but it's not ideal in a situation like that. So it would be better if we could just see, here are some people who are not just experts, but experts specifically in miniaturization, you know, drone technology, AI, those kinds of things. Because, you know, I, I know a day I was seeing a day on here doesn't add that much value as an advisor, so at a minimum you could cut off some space by leaving off the advisors don't, that don't have a lot. Yeah, in addition to, to, to really wrap it a little bit more of a, of a realistic spin around this, have you had conversations with hospitals, with you know other you know, research institutes that, that that may want to look at this, you know, in the right context of saying this is not quite there yet. This is this is you know a while out, but but you know once we have this, this will be great. We would love to test this. We would love to do trials with you. Um, we actually have maybe a few other ideas where we could actually deploy this. So the the reality check with the market. Have, have you done anything there? Absolutely. We've interviewed a bunch of gastroenterologists. And they all basically say the same thing. Super cool, reminds me of Fantastic Voyage. Um, this could save MRIs and x-rays in certain instances. So they say, if it works, we'd love to try it. The question is, is it going to work? And to speak uh, you know, a little bit to Tony's uh, points, um, I think I could probably do a better job of showing where current traction is. Right now, it's swimming around a fish tank, hopefully in a few weeks, around a person. Yeah, having seen this before, I think what you have, both conceptually and backgrounds of people involved and what you've built, is better than your giving a pitch to do it justice. I think you're, you know, you're losing too much time and focus in the early innings about random people and photography, just all this kind of stuff. I, I, I think just start with, hey, it, I used to work at whatever the med tech company is you work, and you build med tech hardware, whatever. That's all we kind of need to know. Now, tell us about the problem. You're five, six slides into this thing, and now all of a sudden you're like, okay, endoscopies or a big house or whatever. I think you just gotta, you know, there's a there's part of this which is yes it's a moonshot someone swallowing this and a submarine's driving around okay but then if you want it to be considered for anything other than just a conceptual thing I think get right down to the problem of here's what happens for upper endoscopies colonoscopies here's the economics of this um, and you know and treated in that way through the same steps somebody would talk about other businesses. The fact, you don't have to hype up the pill and all this stuff, just the sheer fact that it's a pill that you drive around is moonshotty enough. And I, I think you just, you need to restructure this in a way that tells it as a business that people get. They'll love the moonshot aspect, but you want it to be grounded, and then you had to you know, flip over all these economic slides and things, which is, of course, that's the part which would make a real business. You know, I really appreciate this feedback. That, that, that's very useful to me. Thank you. 
Uh, could you just move back to the slide that showed the financial projections? Is that one went by a little bit too fast? <laughs> yeah, we're trying for 2022 to get one dollar of revenue. Okay, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully more. Wow. Okay. Um, and then, um, and then I have a difficult time trying to even understand who your customers are because are they the companies that make these pills, or are you developing your own uh, entity that will go ahead? And separately, how is it going to work? Yeah, we've always been vertical at our little startup companies. We make the devices here on the peninsula, we sell them directly to hospitals. So in our case, it would be like a GI department at a hospital with one customer. Uh -huh. And then also, as far as the pricing goes, I mean, is any of this, uh, can be, is any of this reimbursable by the insurance companies, or how, to, where, to, where is the sort of revenue source is going to be derived from on this? Sure, insurance reimburses a pill camera at $500. So we want to kind of plug into that framework because we look a lot like a pill camera. Okay. And uh, and what if any uh, uh, what if any agreements do you already have have lined up? Since I didn't really pick up any sense of that, just to, to look at the graph and show that one is the companies that were already doing it. But I don't. I'm having a difficult time trying to see where your uh, company is going to fit in and how you're uh, going to be able to uh, promote this to a market. Do you have any, uh, I mean, who's interested in wanting to be able to help develop this market? Great question. So far it's just uh, interviews from GIs that think we're cool. We don't have agreements with hospitals yet. We're hoping that when we do our clinical trial, that sort of becomes our first small group of powerful 